So our last drawing was of a koala. Now we're gonna draw the owl we've been drawing in kindergarten and in first grade sometimes. So this is how we're drawing the owl. Now, of course, there's lots of pictures of cute owls, and that's what I kind of look up. I look up cute owls because they're very simple shapes to draw and very simple lines. So first I'm gonna start out with really big eyes for the owl, and I'm gonna put in two highlights, and then I'm gonna color in the larger circle. And then I'm gonna draw a circle around the eye. Cause again, owls have really big eyes. So we have three circles on either side, right? Circle, circle, circle. And I'm gonna draw a little upside down triangle for a nose. And then I'm going to draw the head. And so the head's gonna also be a circle. And I'm gonna do a hop line here, big hop line. Boop, boop, all the way across. And I'm not sure, sometimes I do this line, I'm not sure how I'll like it, but I'm gonna do this line, hop, and then come around and do that. It's like a little mask for the owl. And I'm gonna put a couple of little owl horns. The owl has basically um, little feathers. I'm not sure really if they're the actual ears of the owl. I don't know. And I'm gonna put some lines before I move on. I'm gonna put some lines going up to get some texture of the feathers of the owl. And I'm going to make a line down here and a line down here for the owl body. Curve line, and another curve line, and another curve line for the owl wings. And then I'm gonna make the owl feet, and they're gonna be coming down, up, 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 and curve around, coming down, and up, 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 and curve around. And put some little claws in there. It's like it's got painted toenails. <laughs> And then I'm gonna make the back of the body, the bottom of the body, and I'm going to not draw through the feet to do it. So I'm gonna draw the line, stop at the feet, pick up the same line. Often we do this, we go invisible, 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 pick up the line here, invisible, 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 pick it up there. And I'm gonna put the owl on a branch. So I'm gonna draw a line coming here, stop it at the body, Invisible, 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 because the branch is going behind the owl, right? Like the owl's feet are over a branch, over, but you can't see the branch through its hand, right? Just like you can't see my arm through this hand, but it's there. So we're drawing uh, a branch there and we're gonna draw a branch down here. And we can add some detail to the branch. And then to do feathers, I often do scallop lines across but you can really do it however you want, just to add some pattern in there. And then I'm gonna put a couple of zigzags in here for the wings. And a little bit more texture in here for the feather. And maybe I'll put an, a moon. Now, because my owl's so big, I'm going to have the owl overlap the moon. So I'm gonna draw a circle, but not finish it. It's like the owl's in front of the moon. I could draw branches coming off here and some leaves. Oop, and I need to put the owl's tail. So this is how I'm gonna put the owl's tail. I'm gonna come down, up, 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 and then maybe just make some lines down there. And that is our owl. I'm gonna write the word owl right here, just so you know how it's spelled. It's O. And W is a diagonal line down, diagonal line up, diagonal line down, diagonal line up. And an L is a straight line down, straight line across. And that is our owl.